so let us start looking into filtering the data uh, and accumulators let us revisit the problem uh, the problem statement says get daily revenue by product considering completed and closed orders so to to apply that filter completed and closed orders we need to see how the data is represented um, uh, 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 in the actual data set okay and if you go through the other steps we don't uh, the second and third does not uh, talk about filtering the data and the fourth one it is actually talking about get the number of completed and closed orders where data is being filtered and to accomplish that there is a concept of accumulator uh, as they are asking to get the number of complete and closed orders when the data is being filtered we can leverage the concept of accumulator and we can actually um, get the number of complete and closed orders so even though the problem here we are trying to solve is filtering the data to preview how the data is uh, uh, represented for complete and closed orders we need to actually uh, apply other transformations also so let's go back to the documentation first and see uh, how we can actually uh, start building the solution okay so first and foremost i am going to the transformations here you can see there are bunch of transformations map filter flat map etc typically for any tra row level transformation for example for each input record if you want to apply certain transformation and get an output record we use map there will be one input record and we we'll get one output record and then if you want to just filter based on certain criteria and create a new rdd which satisfies that criteria then we use filter and then flat map is another row level transformation where we actually pass one record as input and we can get a bunch of records as output uh, flat map is uh, used in certain scenarios for this discussion we only focus on map filter uh, so map we primarily try to uh, get different order statuses that are there as part of the uh, data set and there can be multiple records with same uh status and same uh, one status might be represented in multiple ways to get all unique values of statuses after applying the map we will use a transformation called distinct so we'll go through that uh, uh, process and develop the code okay so first let us start with running this uh, line of code just to preview uh, the the data set right click copy and then go here and then right click paste and you can see the data there are different statuses complete closed pending payment pending etc only by seeing all the distinct statuses we will be able to uh, determine what all values the orders needs to be checked against okay now i am going to sublime text again and we have to apply map function i'll come back to this in a moment if you go to the spark programming guide and if you, if you look at map syntax map takes a function as argument so we need to provide the functionality which will apply the transformation rule you can see the explanation also written a new distributed data set so for each input record um, it will apply certain transformation and it will be preserved in a new distributed data set um, so for each input record there will be one output record and typically the, there will be transformation applied on top of it okay so let us start applying uh, the transformation rule okay so orders is our uh, input data set on which i want to apply map function and you can hit tab here with the spark shell you can get the syntax you can see it takes function as argument 
and the input type is uh, t it can be any type and output type is u which means uh, it is actually transformed okay in our case our in input type is string and output type is also string but input type is the entire record and uh, input value is then um, entire record and output value is only this record so in this case both input type and output type are same and finally it will create rdd of type u uh, which is rdd of type string here which will give the status okay so i can say order because the string is uh, delimited by comma i can say order dot split and split by comma which means each order when when this map function is applied will be converted into an array and if i say of 3 it will give the fourth element okay and then take of 10 for each println i am copying this in case if there are any others it will be easier for me to fix right click copy enter and while it is running i will go to sublime text and paste it and you can see all the order statuses being printed you can also say order dot count and then uh, after applying the transformation for getting the order status we can apply the count on it and whenever map is involved the input collection and output collection will have exactly same number of records in this case 68883 okay so out of this 68883 i just want to get the distinct order statuses so what i can do i can copy this line and paste it okay and then instead of saying take of 10 i am saying distinct dot collect okay and then right click copy and paste and you can see these are the different order statuses that are available and we are only interested in closed and complete okay so based upon that values we can filter the data and uh, we can actually get only those orders that are either completed or closed in state uh, are in closed state okay so now let me start writing the code you can say orders so it is a bit slow uh, because i am doing remote desktop orders filtered equal to orders dot filter and you can see the syntax it takes um, a, an arg uh, it takes a function as argument and that function takes uh, one argument of whatever type the element belongs to and returns boolean which means it uh, it it should return true or false 
if it if it returns true that record will be um, uh, passed on to the new collection if it returns false it will be discarded so the new collection will be typically subset of the original collection which actually satisfies the condition okay so in this case i can say order order dot split comma is the delimiter and then equal to complete of order dot split closed okay so in this context you should be familiar with all the possible um, uh, functions that can be used uh, to return true or false so in, in in for this purpose we are only considering either complete or closed orders okay if your criteria is something else you need to understand different apis and different operators which you can use uh, to get whatever result you want for example um if you are actually have to apply end condition rather than boolean or then you can actually use double ampersand here you can do all types of uh, uh, comparisons like greater than or equal to less than or equal to uh, you can also use substring and compare the substring of the um, uh, substring matches with uh, whatever value you try to pass you can do all such kind of stuff okay but for our problem statement we are only interested in complete or closed orders and that's what we have done here and you can hit enter and here i will be copying this code okay and pasting it to sublime text okay and here i am trying to organize this a bit so that uh, it is a bit readable and also i am trying to write it in multiple lines so that we can actually make additional changes so you need to be extremely careful when you are actually doing this okay so this circular bracket is closing this one and then this curly bracket is closing this one and then we can run this and paste it here and then you can actually preview the data there is the typo here it should not be zero at the end it should be closing bracket you can see the data here it only have com completed and closed orders and also you can actually um do the count to see how many records this new rdd orders filtered have so our orders have 68883 records whereas uh, there are only 30455 orders which are in completed or closed state now we have to expand this program further by implementing accumulators and we will see that